Hey guys, Sandra Plays here, and welcome to another video. And uh, yeah, welcome to another um, review. Today we are finally reviewing Doctor Damage. Sorry about the big uh, uh, like uh, break in between them. So yeah, um, let's quickly get in all my whole cars together. So, don't mind me. Um, so, yeah. If you want uh, more reviews, don't forget to leave a like and carry on voting in the polls. So, yeah. Um, I'm trying to start finding um, pictures of them in the film. But that's kind of difficult since we don't really have very many pictures from the film. And I can't really find my own pictures anyway, so I don't really know how, but whatever. So, yeah, let's uh, start the poll. I've got all the cards in the poll now. Um, on one of the polls, these two weren't voted in at all, so, yeah. We have Cars 1, Mario Clutchburn. Him I can get a movie picture from. So, choose him. Um... We have Cars 3, Darren Lettert. I haven't got a Cars 1, Darren Lettert yet. Because, uh, who's the only car I've got Cars 1 version from and the Cars 3 version from? Uh, put in the comments what version you prefer. I much prefer the original, of course. Oh, gold. Um, the setup's changed, don't worry about that. I'm just in a different place because I've, like, set up a big, uh, Track kind of thing. Then of course we have Guido and Luigi from uh, Luigi's the Casa de la Tires. They are the cars free ones, of course, and I got them for um, uh, Christmas. Um, and we have another Demolition Derby the contender, pile up. Um, I can't really review um, Pushover because um, uh, I've already like bashed them up in the front. So, and Miss Frida not so much because she might be in the poll next time. But the person uh, replacing Mr. Old Doctor Damage is Roll Serral. So, yeah. Uh, we've finally got a World Grand Prix uh, contender in here, so that's a good thing, right? Um, I've also got his crew chief, who I might review in the same video, so yeah. I might make a Team Mel Serral one whole video, because um, that's what I'm probably going to do for Max Chanel's team as well, because I've got them two. But I haven't got uh, the pity yet. I've been seeing uh, Fran uh, Francesco's pity in uh, B&M each time I go in there. Someone bought him last time, that's why I couldn't get him. But, uh, yeah, so... Um, I will be starting to collect these mini racers. They're the ones that roll and such. Because Baby Smoke is amazing! So, yeah, I'll be starting to get more of those. So, yeah. Um, also tell me in the comments who you want me in, uh, who you want, uh, to be in the poll after these, whoever replaces the next car, so, uh, in the next poll we may have Chuck Armstrong, Sheriff, So, we have one from Cars 3 and two from the original Cars film. I'm trying to review uh, more races, or well, Cars 3 races especially, anyway. So, yeah. Sheriff I also got from B&M, same as Chuck Armstrong, but um, I got uh, Buck here from uh, Morrison's, since you can't get Cars 3 diecasts in uh, B&M. So, yeah. Or, 
uh, I could replace him, or, yeah, him, because I've only got guys in the past, um, with a, um, with the next car I get, maybe, depending on that car I get, alright, so, let's get on with the review, so, here we have Dr. Damage, um, I've had him for a little while now, kind of, I got him for Christmas, Actually, I got him on, um, uh, Boxing Day, so, um, so basically for my family on Boxing Day, um, I have to save a few presents, I don't get, I don't get to choose those presents, but yeah, I get to, I have to save some presents to open up with William, because, uh, William got him a sweater as well, but I hope I keep burping, sorry about that, and, um, yeah. Uh, but he's got a different variation to Miss Fritter I've got, because my Fritter's, uh, well, both got, uh, shiny versions, but, uh, his has the spiky sign variation. So, yeah. So, um, I'll remind you of the poll again later, but he also has a part in the Meet the Cars book, so he'll have a, uh, character description. So let's finally get on with the uh, review. Uh, so he is number five in the Demolition Derby. Um, so he's he's actually one of the most muddiest ones. Because uh, if you look at Mister, oh look at that, she's so shiny and clean. There's no mud on her at all. So yeah, but on uh, Taco there's quite a bit of mud, which is awesome. Pile up. Oh, look at that. Huh. I mean, pushover. No mud at all. Oh. APB is no mud either. He's so clean. Oh, there's a tiny bit on um, pile up, but that's it. So, pile up and tackle are the only two that really have mud. But you have the most, because I. Like, <laughs> She's a lady, right? She has to try and keep herself clean. So, they move out of the way, push over. So, oh yeah, he's one of the squeaky ones. She's squeaky. Red squeaky. And I have the queen as well, and I also have Elvis in my collection. So, I may try and review one of them. So, her mum's cards, so she doesn't really like me to... Uh, Review her or use her cars. He's quite squeaky too, and so is uh, Natalie and Otis a little bit. He looks like he'd fit in on the demolition derby, kind of. He's a bit small though. So let's go on with Doctor Damage. <laughs> I like making the squeaking sound. Some people like cringe to the squeaking sound, but what's really nothing that bad about just a squeaking sound, right? So, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Also, newly from B and M, uh, I got this guy, who's a gremlin. He can move his mask thing. I'm gonna put it back down, and then. So, uh, he's from the oil rig. So, um, yeah. Uh, let's just carry on with Dr. Damage. I keep getting sidetracked. So, yeah, this on the top here is, uh, yeah, we'll start at the top. Uh, on his roof, we have here the, um, number five, and we have the medical logo for, uh, the Carswell. You can see it a bit better on the side here. So it's um a kind of like uh like one singular line with a X on it. So it's nearly a Union Jack, but not quite. And then we've got a spanner in it and um all them uh spark bolt thingies, I don't know what they're called. But they've got like a uh, crocodile pinches on the ends. So yeah. And then we have uh some siren lights here at the top. 
You have a nice orange line that goes all the way across. And there's some more lights. And there's a rare ambulance. And there's a um, heart monitor kind of thing. So as you can see it goes uh, beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, five, beep. So both sides are slightly different. So, um, as you can see here, there they kind of dead, quote unquote, car in the background. Uh, there's all this mud on the bottom, so it's a bit harder to see. And on the top here, it has his name, Doctor Damage. Uh, 0810 and um, a broken light I think on the side there's quite a few broken lights on this side and there's an actual proper working light and he has like lovely grey eyes and then he has another medical logo on the front and then he had ambulance on the front but of course he changed it to ambulance and he has a lovely, <laughs> lovely smile, which I'll compare to Taco's smile. So here we have Taco's lovely smile. And we have Dr. Damage's smile. Yay! Who loves horrible smiles? <laughs> so, uh, he doesn't like that. His smile isn't that bad. And we have his grill here, of course. And then we've got his lights. More mud course on his wheel arcs. That's what they're called in the UK anyway. And then we have his lovely pipes here because um, you know most Demolition Derby racers have these like stag pipes in the back or in the front. But for Miss Fritter has uh, she turned her into her horns to make her look scarier. And then we have these wheels, of course, which are like different on both sides. Just like, is it you? No. Just like on Taco, there's spiky on the back, there are normal round wheels on the front. Same with Dr. Damage here, as you can see first. There you go, lovely yellowish colour. And then the back, there's a lovely blue dot in the middle. As you can see, there are double wheels. I mean, tyres. It's probably quite a lot of money to replace. Then he has three rivets. So there's one here. It's very deep. That. Wait, is that a rivet? Wait. And I think it's a screw with some of that liquid metal in it as well. So if I quickly... No, it is a screw. What about that one? Screw, rivet. So he's got two screws and one rivet. That's weird. Then you can see the bottom of his bumper here. A bunch of vehicle parts. And then we have his uh, rear end. <laughs> So once again we have his name, we have some uh, barred up windows. Uh, we do see that taxi, or American taxi looking car, smash right into the back of him. So those chains aren't, very do aren't really doing their job, are they? And like his front bumper, he has a big bump at the back. Has his name again. Then he has some broken lights on this side. And then some fixed lights on that side. As I said, this side is slightly different. To the other side. So the five is a lot closer to the life, except the dead cars in this corner this time. So if I zoom in again, yay! Beautiful car. It looks like someone's just done graffiti all over him and just drawn a dead car on the side of him. Then we have his stag pipes again. We have a mirror on the side, a side view mirror. On the side there is no side view mirror. But his window is boarded up a little bit. It is on the side too. Just, just like a bit too bright. Hello. And then we have a lot of mud at the bottom as well again. So, 
Oh, and then he has some lights at the top, just like Mesa does. And actually, they are exactly like motors, but flipped. So he has, see, here's motor. Uh, mine the blue. It goes, bro it goes fixed, broken, fixed, fixed. But his go fixed, broken. I mean, fixed, fixed, broken, fixed. So yeah, uh, that was actually quite quick. He hasn't really got much on him. Oh, yeah, of course, the wheels are on the same side. They're the same on both sides. So, yeah. Now let's compare him with Miss Fritter. Miss Fritter is a lot bigger than him. But here's the back of them both. And then, like, the front of her is a lot bigger because she's all metal so she's quite heavy but he's his back is quite light and then his front is um uh plus uh metal or proper die cast and here he is next to some of my other demolition derby contenders so here's pushover Taco, APB, and pile up. Hopefully, I'll be getting another uh, demolition derby racer or contender. And here he is next to my gremlins too. Here's one gremlin, and then my other gremlin. The gremlins actually look like they should be in the demolition derby. But this guy's got quite a bit of like, ugh, kind of like markings on the side. So, yeah. That's basically it for um, Dr. Damage. Now we can read his description in the Meet the Card book. So I'll be right back in a second once I have sorted out the book. Okay, sorry, right. Um, I nearly forgot about the packaging, didn't I? So here is Dr. Damage's uh, picture, uh, boxing. If you didn't see his name tag, then you'd know his. it's his because he has international, uh, like, packaging. Even though it does just say Dr. Damage on the name tag, on the back it has his name in, in different languages. So there's Dr. Damage, and there's Dr. Damage, of course, and there's his picture. But uh, on Williams, Miss Fritter's box, uh, we have this normal deluxe, American normal, just English deluxe. The Cars 3 Lego, of course, like the same as his. Miss Fritter, of course. The Mattel logo, and on the back, we have others in, other deluxes in Cars 3. Which is the Cars 3 Mac Red and Tiny Lugworth. Uh, each sold separately, subject to availability, colours and decorations may vary. It doesn't say that on this one. It's just a mark. But there's not. And there's just a bunch of other ones. Warning for parts that we did a to the. There's nothing on the front saying about small parts. Why is there a Mac TM there on the front? I'm back. Oh, yeah, I can read this. Woohoo! Uh, the English ones don't have these, but whatever. Blindsided by a new generation of piston cup racers. Lightning McQueen finds himself suddenly pushed out of the sport he loves. To get back on top, he will need the help of a young race technician, inspiration from the late, fabulous Hudson Hornet, and guidance from a few old friends along the way. Old friends being Smokey, 
Louise and Judy Moon. And then we have the late, fabulous Hudson Hornet, of course. I don't know why Judy Moon went to, he just disappeared, which is a bit scary. But, yeah. Ah. Then there's also this on the... I like reading that out. It's actually quite awesome to read that out. The uh, thing on the back. Because, oh, I don't have that. It just has a picture of the car. And it in different languages, and that's it. Ooh, what's that? Don't know what that is. But it's not on the American version, of course. Also, the barcodes are on the different side. And let's get to the book now, so might as well just show you this bit. Might as well. Might not, I mean. But there's a picture of uh, Miss Fisher on the front. And Roscoe and Mr. Vippy on the back. Oh, and Taco! So, yeah. Is he in here? There's Francisco's mum, though. And there's Otis and Doc and there's uh, a bunch of other cars. Oh look, who's that? That's recognisable. Number 92, Mary Cosburn. <laughs> and then there's also the original Cars 1 Mac. There's that guy, who is right there. There's also Flo, Luigi Guido. There's also Yarp and Pity. There's Miss Fritter. There's the Queen. There's also a bunch of other cars as well, of course. Like Sheriff and uh, the Apple Racer and Ramon, Jeff Corvette, Chick Hicks. Wow, amazing. Oh, and there's the Choke Up Racer and uh, Bubble Wheel House. Alright, let's just skip to the bits we need to get to. Oh, there's Francis Outline. Woohoo! And then there's the Apple Racer, and there's Team Danica, who we've already looked at. This is why uh, Cow isn't in the Team Danica bit. But, meh. Oh, look, there's the RPM pity. Oh, look, there's RPM. Huh, weird. <laughs> Keep going. Oh, look, there's Tiny Legs right there. Uh, the Lightyear blimp um, should be as well out soon. Bob Cutlass, um, no, Bob Cutlass is there. I mean, Daryl Cutlip. Daryl Cutlip. Keep going, Hannon Spokes, and there's Cory. Not Coral, my mate, but Cory. Oh, David Hofscap, who is the same model as Leland Turbo, who passed away in the first film. Start. So we never really met him. But do you have a press? Yeah, I have a press sticker. It's the same guy. Hey, everybody. He really like you. He's not very orange, though. I wish he was orange. Oh, sadness. Okay. There he is, Dr. Damage. He has, like, red on his eyes on, in the film and on the uh, car picture. So, we need the writing, so... Uh, this will be in the description as well, so we also have Avi, and he's on the previous page. <gasps> Miss Fredder! And Blind Spot, of course. And then we have, uh, Roscoe, Mr. Rippy, Hit and Run, and APB, and Taco! So let's, uh, go back a page there. Oh, it was already a few creeps. Well, so, Dr. Damage crushes the competition with the speed and agility of an emergency vehicle on a high alert. He made a career of racing uh, to the hospital. Now he sends his challenges there. He and Arby are crazy eight regulars and have a fan base of their own. Vehicle type. 1993 Silverliner Medicab. Like, uh, medical cab. 
Doctor Damage. So he isn't as long as the other ones. There's Avi. Motorhome. What's this I've got? No, Doctor Damage. Wait, no, he has that one. So, yeah. I like these, like, big paint splodges on there. So, yeah. Would we say he's quite, uh, I like, except for all the mud, but, yeah, quite, except, um, the ambulance on the front isn't worn out. Okay, you can see kind of he's got brownish eyes, you can see the brown better on the book, and it looks more green on the book, but it's yellow. Oh, and by the way, these are just chips on the front, because uh, I didn't think it well enough. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget about Paul being Raul Saru, Linguini, and Guido, Luigi and Guido. Um, Cars 1, Murray Clashman, Darren Metric, and Pilot. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, leave a like and subscribe if you feel like I have earned it. So, alright, guys, see you next time. Bye bye.